and down to Luca and just the gravity he creates to open up shots for others? Um, you know, I don't know. I, uh, his were, a lot of them were self-created. Uh, so he kind of created his own gravity um, on those, those step backs. And uh, he, to my recollection, recollection hit three really deep ones. Um, and then Hardaway, you know, got going. Um, and his were, a couple of those were self-created as well. And once he caught fire, you know, he became just a big extra uh, in that game. Um, you know, the basket just seemed, probably seemed, you know, three times the size uh, once he got going. Uh, next we'll go with Tim Reynolds. Eric, shouldn't there be a rule that a kid who got to practice here forever as a kid shouldn't be allowed to come in and do this to you guys? Yeah, right. Uh, look, he's a, a big key to their success. When he plays well and, and, and scores, uh, you know, they're really dynamic offensively. Um, and, you know, he had, had three or four really clean looks off, you know, a couple of my just vividly remember off offensive rebounds, but there are other ones that, uh, you know, we, we were there, you know, we could have maybe gotten, you know, a little bit more chest in front to be able to get the contest, but it wasn't like they were, you know, just wide open, you know, uh, miscue shots. Uh, he was, he was shot making tonight. Um, felt very comfortable. Uh, and yes, he's probably as familiar with this floor and these rims and, and you know, this arena as, as well as anybody. Eric, the other thing, win or lose this game, I'm sure your approach would have been, it is what it is, off tomorrow, practice Thursday and move on to Friday. How much of a challenge is that at this time of year to, there is no looking back now, it's just whatever comes next. How, how I guess, how is that, how is this team sort of handled that part of this time of year? Well, again, we feel, you know, very fortunate that uh, we do have two days. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of our guys um, can use that. Um, and then we'll we'll be able to, you know, get together on Thursday also and, and get some things done. You know, it's not going to be a, a training camp practice. But if you have an opportunity to get rest, get treatment, um, and do something to move your team forward, uh, I think the last time we had that, I think it really benefited us. Um, all across the board. Thank you. All right, next we go to Ira Winderman. Eric, is it hard for a player like Bam, who's such a supporting player, to try to maybe step up and be a little more in a game like this when there is no Jamie, there is no Tyler, and obviously Vic is still out? Or is that just not who he is to ask him to, hey, tonight we need 20, 25 from you? No, he can do uh, whatever whatever you need. Um, you know, I just think the the wind got knocked out of our sails by by how well that uh, Dallas was playing. You know, and the shot making, the level of shot making, you know, that they were um, doing in this game. Um, you know, you would have to be really mentally tough and stable uh, to stay the course uh, and weather a few of those storms. And then when we did, mm -hmm. um, you know, we I, we didn't execute it offensively you know, with, with real trust and precision and, and purpose. And, and we had some empty possessions that kind of would refeed their life and, and shot making. Thank you. And right, next we go to Cooper Moorhead. Well, you've been pretty clear that, you know, throughout the ups and downs, you've felt pretty good about what the identity of this team is. And you, you've known kind of what the blueprint is. Does it mean anything that when the defense has been up, nights to the other team it's generally always kind of looked the same with with all the three balls yeah and it's and it's been different in different ways in different games you know today uh um i think there was a, a, a super high level of shot making uh that that Dante and hardaway were doing uh, which is different than some of the other games we've given up I, you know i think the most important thing is you know we have to have a a 48 commitment of our best version defensively. Um, and then also, you know, we've learned uh, the last several weeks that, you know, it, it makes sense, but it, it ties in with your offense. If, if your offense is efficient, your, 
you're executing and, and getting the shots in your wheelhouse, your defensive balance is better and, you know, the flow of the game is, uh, is better. You know, we just played poorly um, tonight. And that, that's not to take away anything from Dallas. Dallas played extremely well. And, and, I, and I, I think they, you know, forced us into that poor play.